Hello everyone, I uh, hope everyone's keeping well. It's Baldy Chris once again. It's time for some more Yellow Sticker Madness. Um, if you've been keeping up with the episodes, you know I did a, a spa magic bag at the weekend, so it was time to do uh, a more full shop than, than that, although the uh, the magic bags were on at spa again the next night, but I resisted the temptation to do it twice on the trot. But this time I thought I'd go somewhere I've not been on Yellow Sticker Madness so far, uh, at, to Asda, as you can see, a little bit further out of my way than normal, but not too bad. Um, so it was looking to be probably the shortest episode ever because I don't know what time to go to Asda primarily uh, to get the yellow sticker deals and while there were a few bits and pieces when I was there they basically got picked off from the shelves in front of me there was some pineapple fingers at 20p and some uh, big mushrooms the kind of ones that you stuff um, three of those also for 20p um, some casserole mixes for 10p that kind of thing uh, but they like I say literally got picked up in front of me um, weirdly, I did find uh, some ready meals that were used by today um, on the shelves that hadn't been marked down. So I took them along to the guy that was filling up the yellow sticker bit and said, any chance were marked down? And he did. He marked it down for me. But weirdly, it was nothing like as much as the the markdowns that had been there already. But this is going to be dinner tonight anyway. Chicken and pasta bake, £2.37, as you can see. Uh, and that was basically going to be about it. However... Then I got kind of lucky with the bakery counter and um, basically I'm going to have a lot of best friends in the office tomorrow because I got loads of stuff. Let's have a look. So um, we've got, um, oh, drop the receipt there. I'll, I'll put that out all artfully and everything. So we've got some Cherry Bakewell cookies. Um, there's three bags of those and they are a mere 10 pence. Um, similarly, we've got the uh, strawberry cheesecake flavour cookies, which uh, I thought sounded very nice indeed, along with the Bakewell ones. They're not all going in the office. Some of these are going in me tonight. Um, so I think I've got five bags of the uh, the strawberry shortcake ones. So the so sorry, the strawberry cheesecake ones. As you can see, down to ten p. The receipt says reduced from sixty six, but you actually have to do a bit of a deeper dive and look at the original label. So it was one sixty five for the cookies. Originally, all the way down to 10p, so that's getting damn close to 95% off, which I think is probably just about the best um, I've had on any of the yellow sticker yet deals so far. What else have we got? We've got a couple of little um, sort of tray loaf cake things. Um, yeah, loaf cakes, that's how they describe them. They are also, I mean, the, there's going to be a, a dearth of surprises here. The, the prices on all the bakery stuff was basically 10p. Um, so we've got a fruit loaf, we've got a cherry loaf. Um, we've got some uh, nice clotted cream scones as well, also down to 10p. Um, slightly broken on one of those, not to worry, 10p, I can live with it. We've got some dairy milk oaty bakes, guess what, 10p. Um, uh, uh, this wasn't even a complete clear out, I did leave some stuff for other people as well. Um, I, I've thoroughly misjudged how many people are in my office as well, everybody's going to be stuffed. Um, so we've got some matchmakers um, chocolate and orange cookies again. Guess what? Those are 10p as well. I'm sure you can see it even upside down. I've got some uh, chocolate iced donuts. I've got two packs of those. They are also 10p, um, surprisingly enough. Um, I don't even like those, so they're definitely for the office tomorrow. Um, we've got some pancakes of various flavours as well. Now, one of my colleagues is already pancake mad, so I think he'll be very appreciative of these. So we've got some lemon and fruit ones. There's a nice little stack of those. 10p, shockingly. Um, some fruit ones as well. Uh, I've got two lots of those. Uh, again, 10p. Uh, less clear on the label in there, but I've got some maple ones. As you can see, those are 10p. Maple, see? Maple. There we go. Um, and then um, I've got the extra special Belgian white chocolate blueberry and raspberry cookies. And no real surprises there. Those are 10p. They're actually still showing the original price there as well. So, yeah, that there we are. Like I say... Absolutely tons of stuff from the, the bakery item, the bakery counter. Let's get the receipt up there for you, so I was going to show you that as well. So you just see just how much stuff gone through at 10p there. Lovely jubbly. Um, so yeah, that is my, my haul um, to, to feed the 5,000 or slightly fewer than 5,000 colleagues tomorrow uh, in the main. And an otherwise 
reasonably disappointing trip. So I think um, if I am going to be doing Asda again in the future, I just need to make sure I get there a little bit earlier in the evening to be able to get some decent discounts. They were filling up that same section again, uh, but it was items that were used by the 27th, so for tomorrow. And the discounts there ranged from about 10% to 30 35% um, at this stage. So... Um, Still stuff to be had, just not as good as used by that day. Um, so yeah, it looks like the sweet spot for going there. It would be somewhere around about, I don't know, 6 to 6.30 um, and see what you get. Anyway, that was Asda. So you may, may not see Asda again for a little while. Like I say, they're a little bit further out of my way. But um, let me know, see what you, you've had yourself. And, you know, like, share, subscribe, all the good things. That's That would be bloody marvellous of you. So thanks very much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.